This video is brought to you by Squarespace. What's up guys, in today's video we are going to master the basics of the flat dumbbell bench press. This exercise is probably one of the most common exercises which people get wrong on a regular basis. And if done wrong, you will fail to grow your chest, it's simple as that. So first of all, let's talk about which muscles we're trying to target. When we are executing this movement, we are aiming to place the tension created by the weight across the pecs, okay? Since this is a flat dumbbell press, a lot of the tension is gonna be placed here. There's gonna be some here, some here, in the upper and lower region, but most of it should be around here. It's gonna vary from each individual and how they are basically put together. Okay, I'll talk about that more later. So if we start off with the basic mechanics of the movement, the function of the pec is to bring the elbow across the torso, okay? So this is something you wanna keep in mind, okay? Because a lot of people, when they press any weight out in front of them, they think about doing this, okay? When in reality, you wanna be thinking about your elbows coming out and bringing your elbows together. Now, before you even get started with moving on to your working weight, I recommend that you do at least one to two warm-up sets with no weight whatsoever, okay? The purpose of doing it with no weight is so that you're going through the motions of what is to come when you're doing your working sets, and it's also just getting those muscle fibers firing, it's switching them on. In my opinion, it does help a little bit if you arch your lower back. What this does is it slightly changes the angle of your sternum which can actually help with keeping your shoulders back when you're pressing okay i don't expect you to do that but just a little arch can help okay now next thing you want to do hands out in front of you okay this is why i always recommend whenever you're doing any kind of press don't try and start off at the bottom of the movement because it's hard to readjust when you're at the bottom when you're holding on to weights so start off at the top the first thing i want you to do Pull shoulders as far back as possible, so you're pinching your shoulder blades together. You're basically expanding your chest, retracting your shoulders, okay? Then, you're gonna go down, bend the elbow slightly as you come down. I recommend all points in the movement, your hands are above your elbows. You're gonna go down to the point where you feel a stretch across your pecs. You're gonna pause slightly, and then you're gonna have the intention of bringing your elbows together as you drive up. You have to keep your shoulders back, okay? So you're gonna drive, keep the shoulders back, bring elbows together as much as possible, okay? And you should squeeze your chest as hard as you can at the top of the movement. Once you've done a set of no weight whatsoever, we're now gonna go on to another warm-up set, which again, this should be nowhere near your working weight. This should be about half of what you would normally lift, okay? So, Dumbbells should be on your knees, and then you're going to lie back and pop them up. Get into the starting position, okay? So you're going to pull your shoulders back as far as possible, arch your back a little bit, and then you're going to slowly come down, okay? And as you come down, you're going to bend the elbows slightly, keep your hands above your elbows. You're going to come down to the point where your pecs are stretched, pause ever so slightly, and now this is the most important thing, you're going to drive back up, whilst keeping your shoulders back and have the intention of bringing your elbows together. And at the top, squeeze your chest, okay? I don't want you to come down and bang the dumbbells together because that's just not gonna help you out whatsoever. What many people get wrong is when they're in the bottom position here, they then push up and push their shoulders forward. So I'm really over-exaggerating here. Push my shoulders forward and when I'm at this point here, there's no tension on the chest whatsoever. It's all on my front delt. So people come back, shoulders forward. Okay, this is wrong. You've got to keep your chest out, shoulders back, come up together, squeeze, and down. Okay, I would always advise that you keep the dumbbells directly above your chest. Don't go too far forward, and don't go too far back. You push the dumbbells above to your head like that. Again, you're going to struggle with keeping tension on the chest. Generally speaking, I would advise that you point your elbows downwards ever so slightly, okay? So imagine I'm lying down, this is the bottom position I want you to be at. If you bring your elbows too close to your torso like that and do a press in this fashion, 
you're going to recruit too much tricep. You are going to hit your chest a little bit, but not the best idea. And then if you keep your elbows too high like that, again, not too good. It's not going to feel great on the shoulders and you're going to place too much tension on your front delt. If your chest is a weak point or it's something you struggle with, then it is going to require a lot of patience and practice and going back down to the basics of how to properly execute the movement. Okay, don't try and stick to heavy weights and just try to push as heavy as you possibly can because it's clearly not working for you. Okay, don't be afraid to lower the weight and literally lift tiny little dumbbells. Okay, because everyone starts somewhere and it's something that's potentially needs to be done if you want to get a big chest. Okay, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in a bit. Big thank you once again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. I've been using Squarespace for over a year now and I couldn't be more satisfied with the results. What I like most about it is how easy it is to set up and manage. There's a wide range of templates to choose from so you can select the style and look you want your website to have. And if you want to change this at a later date, it's relatively simple to switch from one template to another. If you want a free trial to test it out, go to squarespace.com forward slash Mike Thurston.